Well, we got another box in for the bus. I'm pretty excited about it because here's hoping that if everything goes right, this will allow the overhead AC unit to work. So after doing some digging and figuring out, we got the belt for the AC, the second AC compressor that runs the overhead, but the fans were not coming on on the lower skirt um, condenser unit. So I hooked them up to battery, a separate battery, and they never came on. So I bought new fans, kind of had to do some guesstimation on which ones we needed, and they just came in today. So we're gonna throw them on see if that fixes their problem. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is yank one of these out, uh, one of the fan, and then um, we're gonna test fit one just to make sure that everything fits the way that it's supposed to before we get too deep into it um, once once it fits um, and everything seems good, then we'll, we'll pull all of them out and start getting everything wired up. fan on top of the other one so these were the holes for this fan bracket were they came with the adapters to make them fit literally exactly the same holes so this is already looking good hopefully this uh, works the way we want it to so we're gonna go ahead and get all three of these installed and then worry about and then uh, start, and then start getting everything wired up cables connected and before we button everything up and zip tie it all in place I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the fans on and here's hoping they go so we got power that is awesome so at least I know the fans work now. Uh, the only thing that I'm slightly curious is, um, whoa, there's dust in this one. So on the old fans I took out, it says airflow goes forward. Um, so I'm, I think I just wired them up as a pusher. So I'm gonna flip them around, or I'm sorry, I wired them up as a puller. So I'm gonna flip them around and have them as a pusher and uh, see if we can get that working. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So I didn't wire it up correctly the first time. Um, I just, I felt some air pushing back a little bit and I wanted to make sure that before I get this all said and done that I didn't uh, make it permanent um, in a way that it wasn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie everything up the way it needs to go because I know at least that stuff works. And then we'll crank over the AC and see if we can get this top uh, AC unit to uh, bust out some cold air, and if we can, be so nice. Now 
now the moment of truth. We gotta see whether or not these fans are what keeps the AC going and getting colder. What do you think is gonna happen, bud? It's gonna work. Here's open so. Here we go. It's been about five minutes of running and it definitely seems like it's a little bit cooler for sure. Um, but we had noticed that before too, what had happened was basically it would, it seemed like it would get kind of cool and the compressor seemed like it would get clogged or whatever and we thought it was because the fans weren't running. I know for sure the fans are running now and they're pushing air across the condenser. It feels to me like it's getting colder. I shut all the windows um, so that it'd just be the air coming in here and I'm basically comparing this air to the AC coming off the front. And it definitely doesn't feel as cold as what's coming off the front AC, but it definitely feels like it's working a little bit better. So we might have to look at the system and how it's charged. We might have overcharged it last time. We're messing with it, but at least I know part of this project's done. We'll see. See if we can figure out the rest of it. For so after running for a couple minutes, it never got any colder. Um, I know Andy and I were messing with it before, and um, we think it might be a little overcharged as far as having too much coolant in there. So because the fans weren't working before, um, the compressor was actually stopping and clogging up. Um, after a time, it didn't do that this time. So my guess is now it may just be um, overfilled. So hopefully we can get that straightened away. So I was thinking, since it seems like those fans may not have actually been the factory fans, what if, and they aren't supposed to be pushers, what if they're supposed to be pullers and pull air past the coils and pull out the other side? We're gonna try it. So my new thought process is this. These are spending all their energy shoving stuff out and there's a skirt on the other side that as wind is going up and around all the bus, we just need to move air efficiently across the coils. So if I flip these around and have them pull, the grid on the other side as air is going on the outside of the skirt would get pulled in anyway. And then maybe it's just too much work for it to push. So we're gonna flip these real quick and try the AC again and see if that does the trick. I really wanna feel the air off these fans and see if it's really hot. And that was the problem was you can't really feel anything when it was coming off the front. Truth number two, here we go. Let it warm up a bit and see if spinning the fans around helped, stayed the same, or made the whole thing blow up. So a few things we learned. Well, I don't know. We learned that the fans were dead for sure. We got new ones. We wired them up the same way that they were working before, or the, the other ones were set up before. It seemed to work okay. I set them up as a puller. That seems to be working a little bit better, but it just doesn't seem like the hot coming off the heater core and the cold, like both of them are like, it's not really hot and it's not really cold, but they're both moving air for sure. So I don't know. This may be a two-parter. Um, I think we're gonna do some more testing, like I said earlier. But I'm glad I tested that out just to see, kind of in theory. Um, Abby did tell me, she's like, well, maybe you should just drive it and see. If driving around helps a little bit. Maybe it will. Maybe it's something that, you know, over time it, it's got a, I mean, it's been a dead system for a while because there wasn't a belt on the front when I got it and the fans obviously weren't working the entire time that I had it. I don't know how long it was dead before that. 
my guess is the guy who had it before me for a year didn't do anything with it or it wasn't working or maybe it did work and then it broke but that's probably at least a year where it was just sitting there with nothing happening so I don't know we'll see I just took this uh, for a ride around the block and honestly the AC feels pretty good it's not like stupid frigid cold um, but for just driving around the block and the pole mode on the fans seems like it opened it up a little bit more to where at least in here it's definitely cooler than it is outside I'm gonna jump out and feel the air going past the fans from the condenser unit um, but thus far like we're getting there it's incremental and it could be that something just it needed to run for a little bit at higher RPMs to be able to get the condenser unit moving a little bit quicker um, to kind of get things flowing better but um, I'm pretty hopeful. I think I think we're getting somewhere. So, yeah, fun little journey. Um, once Andy and I can work on it a little bit more, uh, hopefully we'll get this thing ice cold. I'll keep you in the loop and let you know. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys next time. Stay cool out there.